good morning children how are you all fine okay today we are going to continue our chapter matter with the topic states of matter all of you please take your own book and open the particular page okay we will start today's section by the topic states of matter there are three physical states of matter okay solid liquid and the gas please underline it solid liquid and the gas so here i will show you the example for a solid you see this is an ice cube okay ice cube ice is an example of a solid once we heat this ice what will happen to it it will change as water it will change as water again if we heat that water what will happen to it it will change to water vapor or gaseous state okay students there are too many examples too steel is a solid oil is a liquid and oxygen is a gas while air is a mixture of gases okay and water can exist in all the three states already we have seen ice okay ice is a form of water while while we heat ice what will happen to it ice will turn us ice will turn us water so water is in a liquid state water is in a liquid state and while we heat again this particular amount of water what will happen to it it will change to water vapor gaseous state so water can exist in three states solid liquid and gaseous another interesting fact is plasma plasma is the fourth state of matter which is found at a very high temperature when a gas occurs in the form of positive ions and the free electrons okay the fourth state of matter that is plasma mainly in this section we are going to discuss about three states of matter those are solid liquid and a gas okay then one more state of matter is there that is plasma about plasma we will study in higher classes okay the three properties which desired the state of substance as a solid liquid or gas are first point is intermolecular space and second one force of attraction between the molecules and third one is movement of molecules okay third point is movement of molecules please underline these three points okay force of attraction intermolecular space movement of molecules okay then solid state when intermolecular force of attraction is very strong in the intermolecular space is negligible and the molecules are not free to move matter exists as solid how the substances can occupy as a solid state when the intermolecular force of attraction is very strong when the molecules are arranged very 
tightly if the intermolecular space is negligible in solid and the molecules are not free to move in solid that's where solid substances are in a solid state okay now liquid when intermolecular force of attraction between the constituent molecules is weak intermolecular space is more as compared to solids and the molecules are free to move to and fro within a limited space then matter exists as liquid in liquid the molecules are arranged a little loosely that's why the intermolecular space is small the intermolecular space between the molecules that is small comparatively the solid the intermolecular force of attraction that is weak in liquid state that's why each and every matter exists as a liquid those substances are liquid okay now third one the third one is gaseous state when intermolecular force between the constituent molecules is very weak or negligible the intermolecular force between the constituent molecules in gases that is very weak or negligible intermolecular space is very far it is far more as compared to liquids and the molecules are free to move to and fro anywhere that's where the matter exists as a gas okay we have discussed about solid liquid and gas why matter got these three states okay understood students well, now we are going to discuss the properties of solids okay a solid has a definite shape and a size a solid has a definite shape and a size solid got a, a particular length area and a volume and second one is a solid cannot be compressed a solid cannot be compressed first one it is a solid has a definite shape and size third one a solid cannot flow a solid cannot flow and a solid is highly dense okay a solid is highly dense so here are the uh, properties of solids we are discussing a solid has a definite shape and a size a solid cannot be compressed a solid cannot flow a solid is highly dense then next one is a solid has its constituent molecules very closely packed the constituent molecules in a solid that is closely packed the molecules are very closely packed another one sixth property that is a solid exerts pressure due to its weights only on its base downwards a solid exerts pressure due to its weight only on its base downwards seventh another property seventh property that is a solid has strong intermolecular force of attraction a solid has strong intermolecular force of attraction okay then eighth property a solid has a low thermal expansion that is it expands little on heating okay a solid has a low thermal expansion that is it expands a little on heating 
okay the ninth property in a solid the molecules are not free to move from their positions okay in a solid in a solid the molecules are not free to move from their positions they simply vibrate either side of their main positions okay in a solid the molecules are not free to move okay from their position it's tightly packed okay then 10 to 1 a solid how any number of free surfaces okay a solid how can how any number of free surfaces next property a solid is highly rigid a solid is highly rigid but some solids can be stretched into wires or beaten into sheets a solid is highly rigid it is hard another one a solid does not a solid does not easily diffuse into other solids a solid does not easily diffuse into other solids okay these are the main properties of solids please go through it okay first a solid has a definite shape and size second one a solid cannot be compressed third one a solid cannot flow fourth one a solid is highly dense then fifth one a solid has its constituent molecules very closely packed a solid exerts pressure due to its weight only on its base downwards a solid has strong intermolecular force of attraction a solid has a low thermal expansion in a solid the molecules are not free to move from their positions a solid can have any number of free surfaces a solid is highly rigid but some solids can be stretched into wires or beaten into sheets a solid does not easily diffuse into other solids the above mentioned properties of solids can be explained by the molecular model of a solid state okay this point we will discuss in next session okay students today we have discussed states of states of matter okay solid liquid gas and uh, later we have discussed that there is one more one more state is there that is plasma okay plasma we have discussed then we discussed detailed about solid state liquid state and uh, gaseous state okay at last we have discussed uh, the different properties of solids okay you have to learn and you have to read this chapter at least five times okay and learn it and underline all the important points if you have any doubts you can ask to me by messages or directly okay okay students read carefully the chapter stay home stay safe till the next section goodbye